Take a look at the tail of the tape. Vinny Magalhães coming to us by way of Brazil. 31-64, 204, and 77, the numbers. And the hammer, Matt Hamill, 39 years of age, 6'1", 205, and 76. This one's scheduled for three rounds in the light heavyweight division. And the lovely Emily Miller gets us started as usual here at the World on, Series of Fighting here in Connecticut. We are set to go in the light heavyweight division. This one's scheduled for three rounds and two guys with all kinds of skills. The hammer, Matt Hamill is a guy that, if you've been around He's MMA at all, you know the name, you've seen him fight before. Death since birth, and this guy is so accomplished, a three-time NCAA Division III national champion. He has fought some of the biggest names, Chael. As a former wrestler, you can appreciate what Matt Hamill's done. Forget about the fact that he's, fact that he's deaf. Matt Hamill is just an absolute warrior. Yeah, he, he absolutely is. He had a great run in the UFC. Yep. Had a fight and a win over Hall of Famer Stefan Bonner. Demanded a fight with former world champion Rampage Jackson and got it was very competitive in that bout. Now, his opponent here, Vinny Maglienz, is one of the greatest grapplers of all time. He won the world championship. He has a win in less than 20 seconds over current world champion Chris Weidman. He also defeated heavyweight champion Fabricio Verdum, and he is also on some pretty limp knees uh -oh, right now. Uh -oh. Wow, momentarily, Vic Magalhães is fishing for that arm bar. Matt he Hamill jumps in, now he's going to the heel hook. Todd, he's a master of leg locks, Vinny is. This dry and this early on. That's it, it's that real is trouble. it. Todd, you and I were in the middle of talking briefly. Vinny was in trouble. He was caught with an uppercut from Matt Hamill. He tried to clinch, but he was very bent over and his knees were wobbly. He eventually went down to the ground, but that's right where he is at home. Half of his submissions come by way of armbar, but here he decides to put on some show and then some show. Matt Hamill, as Chael Sonnen pointed out, looked to have stunned Vinny Magalhães. But then Vinny turns the table on him with some very slick Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Whether it's gi or no gi fighting, this guy is legit. All right, Vinny went down here. He was actually yep. hurt. He went for the armbar. Hamill defended it, and Vinny transitioned right to the leg lock. Todd, I wasn't even done reading Vinny's resume <laughs> of telling you how good he is in these positions. And I'll tell you right now, this early in a fight where Matt Hamill has no sweat going, there was no question he was going to have to tap out. So Matt Hamill's record of 11 and 5 now goes to 11 and 6. And that's just how fast it can turn in this sport. Hamill looking to be in control and right there. Vinny gets it, turns it, and Hamill, Chael at this point, he's got nothing. I arm, mean, arm bar right into a, a, a transition into a leg lock to a knee bar finish. That is beautiful, Todd. Those leg locks are just like mine, Todd, only much, <laughs> much better. So it's Vinny Magalhães getting it done in round one. We will be back for the official decision and talk to the winner when we return to Connecticut live here on NBCSN. Crooked Hat Gang. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to a knee bar at one minute and eight seconds of round number one. Your winner, Vinny Magalhães. So a victory to Vinny Magalhães as he runs his record to 13 and seven and picks up his 11th submission. We'll talk to him about the fight and the performance after the fight when we return here live on NBCSN. This is WSOF 24.